I'm here today with Nick Drake Knight, the creator of Meerkat Selling. Over the years, so many people and teams have benefited by understanding the emotional factors that drive customer behaviours, which in turn has had a huge impact on their success. But where did it all come from? Hi, Nick. So we know that meerkat selling has a high profile in many organisations these days, but tell us about its origins. Well, it's been an evolution, really. Early on, I noticed that regardless of where or what the customer was buying, the one consistent thing was an emotional element that was affecting their decision making. Uh, their feelings were influencing their decisions. And that's at the heart of what meerkat selling is all about. And you refer to the emotional driver. That's right. It's a feeling a customer wants to have, to move towards, or a feeling a customer doesn't want to have, to, to move away from. It's about how the buying process will help them to access or avoid those feelings. So how did you come up with the meerkat selling structure then? I watched and listened to thousands of hours of video footage and audio recordings from mystery shop evaluations from all sorts of environments. High street and out of town retail, uh, automotive dealerships, uh, financial services, and from modest transactions to major personal investments. And over time, I noticed some patterns. Patterns of success? Well, yes, and some patterns that were less successful. You're right though, um, a model began to emerge uh, which has a high probability of sales success if a certain pattern of communication is followed. So how did you go about shaping this, this structure? Well, I knew the structure had to be easy to remember, not too many stages. You know, businesses spend a fortune on attracting customers across the threshold. Uh, many of the big brands hadn't spotted their sales processes were just too complex. They looked great on paper, uh, they sounded fine in theory, but the important people, the team members, they couldn't remember all the steps. Um, one global retailer had an 11-step sales process. I mean, the teams didn't have a chance, Steve. All right, so how many steps are in the Meerkats model then? Just five steps, the most important of which is step two, understanding. Everything works around that. Getting inside the, the head, the heart and the world of a prospective customer. So why meerkat selling? <laughs> well, that's funny. I'd worked out that the unsuccessful folk uh, often had a lack of spatial awareness. There was too much focus on tasks like uh, managing deliveries or, or restocking or, or facing off product, that kind of thing. The successful ones were scanning the horizon for customers and then creating engagement and conversion. So how can brands access the Meerkat selling way? Well, that, that's easy, Steve. They contact you at SON Development for direct delivery of training events or they consider a train-the-trainer approach or they look at online e-learning or best of all, they think about a blended approach, uh, some direct training of Meerkat Selling, uh, a tech transfer program, and some of the fabulous e-learning that's now available through our partners at the Motivation Agency. Thanks, Nick. So, if you're interested in exploring how these ideas can develop your team's ability to help your customers even better, we've put the links to all the resource that Nick's talked about alongside wherever we've shared this film with you. Once you've had a look at them, contact me at SON Development and we can chat about the best way to pull it all together to help you bring real change to your organization and of course your customers. Thanks for watching and we hope it's been helpful.